Hello. Let us look an example in section of solids, which is a part of our engineering graphics. Let me take this example. Here, a hexagonal prism of side 45 mm and axis 75 mm rests with one of its base on HP such that one of its rectangular faces parallel to VP. A section plane perpendicular to HP and parallel to VP cuts the prism at a distance of 15 mm from its axis. Draw its top and sectional front view. What they have asked is, we have to draw the section of solids. Here, they are given that the solid is cut at a distance of 15 mm from the axis. Let me show a small diagram in 3D so that it would be easy for us to draw in 2D. We have to take a hexagonal solid, hexagon some shape. hexagonal solid and this solid has the axis at the center now we have to draw the section and uh, they are given that our cutting plane is 15 mm from the axis see and see the cutting the cutting plane is parallel to vp and perpendicular to HP. A cutting plane is parallel to VP in the sense the cutting plane is parallel to VP. It is the cutting plane is like this. Let me consider this as a cutting plane. This is the cutting plane. This is now it is parallel to VP and this is perpendicular to HP. Now I am going to take this cutting plane and I am going to cut the solid prism, solid hexagonal prism from 15 mm from the center. Let me consider this is uh, for example, I am going to cut this section. Let me take this is 15 mm from the center. If I cut this solid, if I cut from here, I have to draw the remaining part of the hexagon. What I will get is if I erase this. I will be getting a hexagon like this. So this is this would be my remaining part. So I have to represent the same 3D structure in 2D. So let me take this, let me take the clues what they are given. We know that hexagon of base side. 45 mm and its axis axis height is 75 mm and it rests on HP okay and uh, the cutting plane is cut from 15 mm at a distance of 15 mm from the axis cutting plane cut at distance of 15 mm from axis. Ha! Let me go into the problem. Let me draw the axis. This is horizontal plane and vertical plane. Here, base is horizontal, this is vertical plane. Now, I have to draw a hexagonal prism of base side 45 mm and it is given that the hexagonal prism of side 45 mm is resting on HP. So one of its base is resting on HP. So this prism should be like this, drawn like this.
Yeah, I have drawn the prism of side 45 mm. Each side is 45 mm. Now I am going to draw its projection. Before drawing its projection, let me give some names for these sides. Let me name it A, B, C, D, E, and F. We got six sides, but as this is the prism, as a, this is solid prism, solid hexagonal prism. The we have to mark the back portion of this solid. So let me mark the back portion, and this should be given within brackets. Let me take P, P, Q, R, yes, P, U. Yeah, I have given the name for the solid prism. Now, I am going to draw the front view of this prism. This is the top view of this prism, solid hexagonal prism. Now, I am going to draw the front view. What I am going to do is, I am going to project all the edges. Let me show you. And we know that we know that the axis of the prism they are given is 75 mm. Axis is nothing but the height of the prism. Height of the prism is 75 mm. And the axis should be marked like this. In engineering graphics, we have to represent different lines in different ways. Axis should be represented with a dash and a dot. Now we have drawn the axis. The height of this axis is 75 mm. Axis in the sense the height of the solid is 75 mm. Let me project all the lines. This is 75 mm. Again, I repeat the height of the solid is 75 mm. And the axis should be represented with a dash and followed by dot. This is the axis. Let me give the name for each and this would be my A. A goes at the top and P comes at the bottom. And let me take this as A dash, P dash as I have represented A, P here. And F goes and see while drawing the projections, while drawing the front view, See, we can see both lines from the C, B, Q and C, R. The axis we are drawing here is B, Q and C, R falls on F, U and E, T respectively. So, as this line falls on the other line, so this should be represented in dotted lines. There is a continuous line Okay Not be represented in a There is a continuous line See the back The back portion of the solid should be Drawn with the dotted lines But The front part of the solid Hides the dotted line, so we have got the continuous line there. Again, here, if you come here, there will be a continuous line, there shouldn't be dotted lines. Yeah, this is the correct way of drawing. 
and we have to give name for each f is here f dash and bottom comes u dash u dash can't be seen as it's behind but b dash can be seen and here this is the axis e dash can be seen and the c dash can be seen it should not be represented in brackets c dash it's in front view and again comes here t dash is at back e dash is here t dash should be given in brackets t dash should be drawn and here d dash the top s dash comes to the bottom yeah we are given names for now we are we are having the cutting plane which is parallel to vertical plane and perpendicular to horizontal plane so the cutting plane is this is we are having cutting plane like this my let me show you an example if this is the solid we are having the solid like this and we have to have our cutting plane which is parallel to vp let me take this as vp this is parallel to vp and perpendicular to hp same way i am going to represent here if i represent i have to cut the solid which is 15 mm let me take this is 15 mm from the axis consider here 15 mm this is this is cutting plane and this distance is 15 mm from the axis this is 15 mm from the axis and let me give the name for the cutting edges 1 2 and behind this solid is 3 and here is 4 now i am going to draw the projection of this cutting edges if i draw i will be getting like this just extend the top so i'm be getting a line here and here let me draw this is the one goes up here is four four dash this is one dash and two goes up this is two dash and here is three dash now in front view this side and this side goes off as i have cut with the cutting plane let me show the remaining part we have to represent the cutting portion of the solid with hatching lines hatching lines in the sense this is called hatching lines this is the remaining portion of the solid after cutting 15 mm from the center and let me repeat we have to draw the section of solids as well as we have to draw the front view of the solid they are given the hexagonal prism of side 45 mm with one of its base resting on hp and the cutting plane is parallel to vp and perpendicular to hp 
Here, the axis of the prism is 75 mm, that is height of the solid is 75 mm. I have drawn the hexagon of 45 mm side with one of its base parallel to HP and I have given name ABCD likewise. I have projected all the edges to draw the front view. I have got my front view. Now I have cut the prism with my cutting plane at a distance of 15 mm from the center of the axis. This is my cutting plane. Let me design it with the color so it would be understand. You can understand easily. This is my remaining solid. And this part of the solid, we should not draw this part of the solid as we have cut it already. So I have projected all the lines and I have projected the cutting uh, edges also. Cutting edges, it is cutting on A, B, likewise, sorry, uh, Q, B, and C are here. And I have given name for it 1, 2, 3, 4. And I have projected the cutting edges. I have got here and the section I have drawn with the hatching lines so we have to represent the section of solid hatching lines the hatching lines this is hatching lines thank you